Welcome to the Art Lady channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a winter landscape. And we have a little cave here with some bears that are actually going in to hibernate for the winter. And it's an interactive painting, and that means where you can actually move the painting pictures and have some fun recreating the hibernation scene for bears how they like to go into their little cave to hibernate. And then when winter is almost over, they will come out of their cave and they will be rested from the winter. And then in the beginning of winter, they can go back in to their cave and sleep during the coldest months. And this is a, just a simple little cave that has a slit down it and the bears get to tuck in. So I'm going to show you today how we make the background, this beautiful little winter wonderland background, and then we will put the bears in the cave. To do our collage background, we want to use some values of blue to create the snow drifts and little snow hills. And so what I did was I took the size of my background paper and just cut it in half. So I have half of a light blue piece of paper and half of a dark blue piece of paper. Now what I want to do is I want to create a little hill here. And I like to just tear my paper. So I'm just going to tear it into a little hill. But if you notice, I'm holding my background paper vertically. So then this paper will match up so that it goes from side to side. I don't want to do it this way, and then I'll end up with short, a little bit short on the edges here. So I'm gonna have it this way so it fills in the whole page across horizontally. So I'm gonna start here, and I'm gonna tear the paper up, and then I'm gonna tear it down, make a little hill. So I'm gonna hold it now, like this, and I'm gonna tear across the page. If you want to draw your hills and then cut this out, you can. Like I said, I like to tear it. And I'm just going to randomly tear this down. And I'm going to just tear it over here. So then I get some little rough edges. So here is just a little drift of snow color. So I'll be gluing one on here. And then I'm going to flip this over and glue it the opposite way. That way my bump is on this side and not over here. So that's gonna be in the background. So the first thing I'm gonna do is place glue on the back of the lighter value. This is farther away, so it's appearing a little bit lighter. So I'm flipping this over. I'm just gonna put my glue stick, or you can use Elmer's glue, either one. And I'm gonna run a little bit of glue here. And then I'm going to flip it over, glue it near the top of the page. I'm going to come down a little bit here. Now I'm going to do the same for this one. This is going to go here, flip it down, add a little bit of glue. We don't need lots of glue here. And then I'm going to flip it over and glue that down. So there's the little snow drifts in the middle here. Now near the bottom of the page, I'm gonna tear the lighter value. I don't want it to be as hilly, so I'm just tearing a skinny strip of this to glue down here. I'm leaving a little space for the white. Place that on. And glue that down near the edge. So I have a little bit of lighter shadow here that's gonna be in front of the snow cave. Now I'm gonna take two values of gray, a darker value and a lighter value. And this, I'm gonna use my scissors, and I'm just gonna cut up strips. So I'm gonna make some thicker. So I'm coming over, it's, Comparing it to my finger here, you can see it's quite 
a little bit bigger than my finger. It's about an inch strip. And then I'm gonna make it taper, meaning going skinnier, like so. So I went from thick to thin. And I'm doing the same here. I'll go thin to thicker. And I'm just gonna get several strips of, and then I'll do some that are very skinny and very skinny. Just random strips. And these are gonna form the shadowy trees in the distance. I'm gonna take my darker color right here and I'm gonna arrange my darker color some coming here, some here. And you can arrange this the way you want it on your page. The thicker ends are gonna be down. Closer to us. They get smaller as they go away, farther away. And then I'm gonna do some light gray. Now if you notice, they're hanging off the page, which is fine. And I'm gonna do some of my light gray trees like so. It's just in the forest. And the light gray trees are higher up. These are the ones that are farther away. You can even tuck some. Maybe I'll tuck this one in underneath that little snowbank right there. And then I'm going to have a smaller one. You kind of just play with it and see what you like for composition. I may just tuck a smaller one in up here can tear that and maybe do another smaller one back here too. These are farther away in the forest. And I'll put another smaller one next to this one. Let's see. And so now I'm going to glue these down. And then you can even add branches from the skinniest ones. Remember we cut some real thin? That can be added. Just tuck it in like this and we can have some branches. And when I do my branches, I'm having them form a kind of a V-shape in between, if you notice there. And then I'm putting my branch underneath and laying the branches on top like so. And these are of the very skinny strips. So we have this feeling of far away in the lighter colors and closer up with the darker values, like so. So I'm gonna go ahead, glue that down, and then I'll show you the next step. The next step is to add our bear cave down at the bottom. And I have this bear cave pattern with my little bears right here. For the worksheets, just click on the title of the video and it'll take you to a page for the worksheet. Otherwise, you can just draw your own bear cave which is a curve, kind of like a rainbow arch. And then you wanna come around and just kind of do freeform line down. Connect together. And then I have a little line coming diagonally in here. And you can even add your icicles dripping down. Once you have your bear cave drawn, then you wanna color it in. And I use some dark gray and some light, light blue just to add a little bit of shadows, uh, like the snow shadows. Once you have your bear cave cut out and decorated, then what you're gonna do is make another cut and you're gonna cut on the bold line here. So you're gonna cut right up to the top here. Do not go you know, around the whole cave opening. So I'm just gonna make a cut here and on the worksheet that I have, if you've downloaded it, it's the bold line. So there's one real thick bold line and that's where you would cut. Now I'm gonna glue this down and I'm not gonna glue anywhere in this area because the bear is gonna go inside the cave. I want him to be able to go in and out. So I'm gonna place glue along my edges and then I'll place glue behind here and on the bottom edge here. But I'm not placing any glue in the middle here. So let me show you how to do that. So the glue goes around the edge 
and don't put it too close to the edge. None of it in here. A little bit on this edge here and then in the cave area here. Very little. And then I'm just gonna kind of, if you, if you pick it up and just bring it to the edge. I take my glue and pull it to the edge. And this is important, this part, smearing it with your finger. Don't worry about getting your fingers dirty, that's fine. Smear it. Now remember, in the part where the bear's gonna go in, here, he's gonna be tucked inside, no glue in this area. Now I'm gonna place my little cave down. I'm bringing it more to one side. I have a little opening here. And then I'm placing it down like so. Again, this middle area is not glued. Now we're gonna cut out our bears. Now that our bears are cut out, I have one that is coming out of hibernation. So he's waking up. And I have one who's still sleeping. So we can tuck him in here. Just like so. And what I like about this, you can bring them both in the cave. And you can have fun playing with it. Now, I'm also gonna trim off the extras here. And some people like to leave a little bit hanging off, and then you can even mount it on a bigger piece of paper. You can even enhance this now with um, some glitter, some snow. Um, if you wanna spray on here, some white, that's fun too. I'm gonna take my little bears out and give it some white paint spray and I'll show you how to do that. I'm taking just a little bit of water. It's probably about a teaspoon of water and I'm using some liquid tempera paint. Putting in just a little bit of liquid tempera. And I'm using a flat brush and just mixing it with some water. You want enough tempera so that it's not just watery and will fade, but you want enough water so that it can splash. So you can test it. Just bring it up about six inches from your paper and just do a few hits and you'll see it coming out. Here it is snowing in my winter pitcher. So and that tells me I have it mixed up enough. And so I'm gonna add some more snow over here in our winter beautiful hibernation pitcher. Put some snow here, just light taps. And I'm doing it, you notice, more up here in the trees. That's where my darker values of color are. And I'll put some down at the bottom. Here. That's a little bit of speckle. And it just gives a little fun touch to the, to the picture here. And then we put the bear in the cave to hibernate. And his friend is already inside the cave here and he's tucked in sleeping. So with this project, we get both bears and the kids can have fun playing with them, bringing them in and out of the cave. And the bears were just decorated with uh, markers here and then the bears go in for hibernating. And this bear can go on in and sleep for the winter and then come back out when the weather's better.
Thank you for watching the video, and I want to give a big, big shout out to my patrons who support this channel. If you would like to become a patron and support the channel, just click on the title, and there'll be a link to my Patreon account. And these worksheets will be in my Patreon account, as well as Teacher Pay Teacher. And my store is called The Art Ladies Store. Again, the link will be under the title. Click on the title, and you'll come to the link. Wishing all a warm winter.